Hi, welcome to my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Guide to flood insurance. You might think your home won't get flooded because you've never seen more than a big puddle in your yard, but 99% of countries in the United States were impacted by flooding between 1996 and 2019, according to FEMA. And here's the problem. Far too many Americans don't believe a flood is a major risk to other homes, only 3% of homeowners believe they have a moderate to high risk on offloading or flooding within the next two years, according to a survey conducted by Swiss Re, an insurance company. <laughs> Devastating floods can happen so suddenly but near the coast and usually dry areas. Floods can be caused by predictable events that are exhaustively covered by the media, like the Rikensis, <laughs> but also by players flood from heavy rain and no number of sandbags or sheets of plywood can hold back the devastating flood. Unfortunately, a standard homeowner's insurance policy won't cover flood damage, flood damage, and only 15% of homeowners have flood insurance. Without the flood insurance, you could be hit hard with out-of-pocket expenses. The average payout out of flood claim from the National Flood Insurance Program and FIP was uh, $52,000 in 2019, according to the most recent data from the FEMA. What is flood insurance and how does it work? Flood damage from problems like hurricanes and territorial rain is not covered by a standard homeowner's insurance policy. A flood insurance policy is a separate policy that covers your house and your belongings for flood-related damage. The majority of homeowners who buy flood insurance buy it from the National Flood Insurance Program, but you may be able to buy a policy in the private market. Flood insurance can cover problems such as storm surges, inline flooding, flooding such as rivers and streams overflowing during a storm, flash flood. Flood insurance through the NFIP has a 30-day waiting period before coverage goes into effect. Meaning you can make a flood insurance claim for damage that occurred during the waiting period. Some private flood insurance companies have a shorter or no waiting period. For example, Surin Residential Flood Insurance does not have a waiting period. If your house and belongings are damaged or discharged by a flood, you you can file a claim with your flight insurance company and be covered up to your policy's limit. For example, if you had an NFIP policy with $250,000 in building coverage, you would be covered up to that amount. Some homeowners purchase a private flight insurance as a excess policy to provide additional coverage on top of their base and FIP policies. What does flight insurance cover? Flood insurance can generally be broken into two main parts, dwelling, your house and contents, your belongings. You may be able to purchase a building on policy, a contents only policy or both, depending on where you purchase your flood insurance from. And then dwelling coverage. Dwelling coverage, also called building coverage, helps pay to repair or re Replace your house due to flood related damage. For example, if flood waters damage your electrical and plumbing system, the dwelling coverage would pay to repair or replace it. Flood insurance through the NFP uh, caps dwelling coverage to $250,000. You may be able to buy a higher amount of dwelling coverage in the private market. For example, flood guard and tight tap sell policies with up to five million dollars in dwelling coverage, and then content coverage. Content coverage, also called personal property, is what covers your personal belongings such as furniture, clothing, and appliances. For example, if flood waters destroy your living room furniture, your content coverage would pay to repair or replace the items. An NFIP flood insurance policy caps contents. Coverage $100,000. You may be able to buy higher content coverage through the private market. For example, you can buy up to $1 million in content coverage from flood card and up to $250,000 from Thai What does what does a flood insurance cover? 
flood insurance doesn't cover every type of water damage a flood policy from the NFIP typically does not cover. Damage caused by birds, pipes, that type of damage is covered under home insurance. Personal property outside of your building such as decks, patients, swimming pools, septic systems, and landscaping. Preventable mold and mildew. Additional living expenses such as hotel, lodging, if your home is inhabitable. Damaged cars. The comprehensive portion of your car's insurance policy covers flood related car damage. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.